Can you imagine not having a computer, tablet, or phone, or even Disney Pixar? All these items are created because of Steve Jobs, or as his friends call him, the eye god, because of his tendency to put I for internet before all his products. This amazing creator started here in Los Altos. Stephen Paul Jobs, also known as Steve Jobs, was born in San Francisco on February 24, 1955, and was put up for adoption by his parents, Adolfo Ta Jandali and Joanne Simpson, but was soon adopted by Paul and Clara Jobs. Fortunately, his father taught him how to disassemble and rebuild machines and let him use the garage to make computers, and his mother lent him some money to start the company Apple. Steve's parents thought he was smart enough to skip fifth grade, but when he did, he was bullied and threatened to quit, so his parents sent him to Homestead, and he liked it. At a young age, his parents gave him what he needed to be great and experiment with creations. Steve Jobs was introduced to Steve Wozniak at Homestead High School, and the two of them soon started Apple. To have enough money to start a company, Wozniak had to sell a prototype computer chip that he made, and Jobs had to sell his brand new car that he'd saved up for. After high school, Jobs wanted to attend Reed College, but he saw it was expensive and left. Luckily, his professor let him drop in on some classes, so he took a calligraphy class and later used what he learned in his computers. Unfortunately, Wozniak and Jobs took different paths and split up, but later realized that they needed each other's skills to be successful, so they rejoined and re received more money together. Steve Jobs created many things with and without help from Wozniak, including the Apple I, the Apple II, the iMac, Pixar, the Next Cube, the iPod, the iPad, and the iPhone. We will always remember Jobs for his perseverance and his ability to make old boring things more appealing, like turning a music player into the must-have item of the time. That is why he should be remembered in history.